What is up guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Today we're here finally to do the full review of the Huion 1060 Plus. The new tablet from Huion. I got it for two weeks ago and I've been testing it and uh, I'm going to be telling you, telling you guys all my um, thoughts and experience with it. I tested it and today I'm going to be doing the full review because uh, you guys have been asking me a lot of questions like is this a good alternative for the Wacom one, the Intruders Pro? Um, um, has, it, has this tablet uh, driver inches? And I'm going to be answering all these questions today. But if you guys want to check uh, the unboxing of this thing out, you can click on the box right here and you can see uh, and you can watch, watch the video that I made last week. You can watch it and then go back and watch this one. But uh, first things first, I want to thank Huion. Uh, they sent me this tablet for free uh, for review purposes. And I'm going to be doing the full review today, finally. Because uh, you guys have been waiting a long, long time for this. Uh, and, I finally, and I finally got it and ready to go. I'm recording right away on Thursday and this video will be out uh, Saturday so I will need to edit it today, upload it today because I'm gonna be traveling to Portugal uh, in holiday and I'm not, I don't know I have much time so let's get started and um, first things first what's Huion? Huion is a company from China that uh, makes graphic related products especially graphic tablets, tablet monitors and light boxes. The selling point of many of their products is their attractive pricing compared to other products in the market, especially to the tablets from Wacom. As you know, Wacom has Wacom Intuos model, the Wacom Intuos Pro model and the Wacom Cintiq model. The Wacom Intuos is something, it's a smaller one, uh, it costs around $60 to 100 I think. Uh, the uh, Wacom Cintiq uh, the Wacom Intuos Pro costs around $300 to $400, to $400 yeah. and the Cintiq one, it depends in which model do you get, it can go from $700 to $2,000, so it's, compared to the Huion, Huion one, Huion is really cheap, but is this product good? This is the question that I'm going to be answering. The Huion 1060 Plus is one of the many tablets sold by Huion. It's the newer version of the 1060 Pro and the main difference between both is that the 1060 Plus can now use all the 12 express keys. So these are the 12 express keys and um, instead of just 8, I mean this, these are the 12 express keys and in the older version of this tablet, the 1060 Pro, there were just 8. And now we are able to use the 12 instead of just 8 on the 1060 Pro. And uh, the included storage has increased has increased as well uh, to 8 GB from 4. So the older version, the 1060 Pro, only came with 4 gigs, and this version, the, the new 1060 Plus, comes now with 8 gigs. That's pretty cool. You can remove this SD card and add a new one with 64 gigabytes of of uh, of uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you know what I mean. Um, another very close model to take note of, uh, of take note of is the Huion H610 Pro. You can you can see it here. This is the Huion. Uh, this is the Huion 10. Um, oh my God, the Huion. 610 Pro, um, which has the same size uh, working area. So this is the Huion 1060 Plus working area. Plus this here, this here, and this is the Huion H60 uh, 610 Pro working area. Uh, and there are some design differences to uh, to its express keys uh, and also some internal storage differences. Uh, this one comes with eight, and the other one maybe come with four. I think that's what I read. But yeah, for this review, Huion sent me this tablet for free, um, and I tested it out 
I've used this on a Windows, uh, running Windows 10. Uh, so I'll give you my thoughts and all my experience while using this tablet on a Windows 10. Um, first things first, uh, this is really important. Before you plug in the tablet, you should uninstall any other tablet drivers so as not to conflict with uh, Huion, the, the Huion drivers. Uh, the Windows will try to install its own version of the tablet driver which will be incompatible with this Huion 1060 Plus model. So what you need to do is you have to go into Advanced System Settings and disable Windows Auto Driver Update. Um, Another thing there I should say, I've never used this on a Mac or Linux, I, 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 this doesn't work. I mean, the tablet works on Linux, but the drivers don't, uh, so you, 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 still, you, still, you can still use it on Ubuntu, but you will not be able to use the pressure sensitivity or even the 12 express keys. So, one thing is that I connected it to my Ubuntu PC because I have a PC running Windows 10 and a test PC running uh, Ubuntu and I connected it to that um, and, I, and I was surprised because this thing works, this thing really works in, uh, in Ubuntu but the drivers don't, okay? Uh, maybe one day Huion will, um, will, will create drivers for Ubuntu because Wacom works in Ubuntu and I mean uh, Huion, why not? Ubuntu is growing, growing uh, every day, and they are they are now big, big OS, uh, and who knows maybe the future. Uh, but in any case, let's continue. Um, the Huion uh, 1060 Plus works to me really good in Windows 10. So. Inside the box, uh, we get these items, we get the tablet, uh, uh, we get the stylus and the stand, or whatever you want to call it. We have the charging cable for the pen, because the pen is rechargeable, as you can see. This is the USB cable, uh, rechargeable cable for the pen, for the stylus. Uh, and here we got um, the, US, the mini USB cable and the normal USB cable that connects to the PC to connect the tablet to the PC. Another thing that you get in the box is the user manual and also some free stuff like a glove and a storage bag to store you, uh, where you can store your tablet. That's pretty much it. Uh, these, these, these are all the things that come inside the, bo uh, the box. Uh, if, uh, once again, if you guys didn't watch the unboxing, you can check it really quick now, you can click here. Um, I would recommend to watch the unboxing video, because uh, I go a bit more clear there. So, here you get four nibs, extra nibs, so, you, so that you can replace the other ones, and a pin, a, a nib remover, here you get a nib remover. Wish I can't get out of this. I can't pull this pin removal out of this box. So we don't please solve this problem. I can't remove this pin removable. I can't. I can't. It's completely impossible. So this is a big downside of this of this um, stand. And there is also uh, more downsides that I that I want to talk to you later on. But let's continue right now and see what else. Uh, we okay, let's talk now about the, um, the quality of the tablet. The build quality is good. It's not right up compared to Wacom, but it's definitely not far behind. I have nothing bad to say about the construction where, when the price is half of, the compared, uh, of that compared to Wacom tablets of the same size. As I said, uh, Wacom has the Intuos Pro model that is nearly the same size than this one, and this one costs around $80. And the Wacom one costs around 300 and 400 dollars. There are some difference uh, in the uh, specifications difference, but I mean, for 80 dollars, this is pretty cool. And <laughs> let's go ahead. The tablet comes with 12 express keys that act as shortcuts to preset functions, and the buttons as notizable, indent to them when pressed. 
Okay. Uh, in addition, there are 16 soft keys. There are 16 soft keys right up here uh, on the drawing surface uh, that you can access with your, with the stylus. So if you get the stylus, I can remove the cable out. Okay, this is the stylus once again, and this is the working area from here to here to here to here. Uh, this is the 12 express keys, and these are the soft keys. Okay, and you can um, uh, access them with the stylus. Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's put it to the side now. Now, really quick, before I, uh, before I forget that, uh, how do we set functions to these express keys and also the soft keys? That's pretty simple, and I'm going to show you how. Right here, we have the, the driver window. Uh, I, I made a print screen of the driver window, and right here, once the tablet is connected to the PC, you can set these keys, okay? You can click uh, on one of these keys, for example, key one, you select with the mouse right there, and you, you choose uh, which key you want, which shortcut on your keyboard you want to, to assign to that short key, okay? So that's pretty simple, nothing so hard. Uh, one thing that I would like to say about it is, let's... Thing. Um, I work with Photoshop and Maya and the huge and big problem of this software, of this driver uh, software is that, let's think, I'm working on Photoshop, working, fading, whatever, and I want to switch to Maya because I'm a 3D artist, I work with 3D, whatever, uh, and I want to switch to Maya and I also want to work with the tablet in Maya. Of course, when I'm working in Maya, the short keys will be different than in Photoshop. So, what is the problem? This software doesn't have um, what it's called um, profile. So there you can create profiles, for example, for Photoshop, and all the keys that you assigned to that profile will be directly there, or a profile for Maya, so that you can change the profiles really quick without need to changing all the keys. Because when I'm working in Photoshop, I set all these keys, these 12 keys for working in Photoshop. And then I face, uh, I face myself need to switch into Maya and then, okay, now I need to switch all the keys again and go through all these buttons again and switch all the keys again. That's pretty annoying. So, Kuyon, please add some profiles that will help a lot. I mean, a lot. This, we spend a lot of time changing all the keys and add some descriptions like, I don't know what to sign to, to key number one or to key number two. I only know what's uh, what's assigned to it when clicking on it. So it will be really quick, uh, really quick uh, if you can add some, some description so that I can see, okay, without clicking on it, okay? So that's pretty cool. That's pretty much it, uh, what I think, what I have to talk about. Um, the keys are pretty soft, uh, pretty cool. They work just fine, but that's that's the problem. No profiles. No description. Um, this is my opinion about these 12 express keys. I hope you, you who young, solve this problem because this is uh, something that annoys me and maybe annoys other people. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now another thing. Um, here's the side of the tablet, uh, you can see the picture right here, uh, here's the side of the tablet. Um, um, featuring uh, the USB port. It is those standard USB port ports. There is also a small uh, small slot for removal, 8 gb micro SD card. You can replace it, as I already said, uh, the micro SD card with one that has uh, 64 gigabytes. I think 64 gigabytes is the maximum value that you can achieve. Um, so, and it is eight gigabytes, I mean, is enough. You, you will never need more, I think. I don't know, but I do not need more because eight gigabytes, I think eight gigabytes is enough. 
but you can replace it, okay? So you can just pull this thing out. Let me show you really quick. Another thing, Huyan, I can't pull it out with my finger. I can't. It's really hard. I can't remove the, the SD card. I always go with the nib of the pen, yeah, trying to remove it. But it's, it's, it's really hard with my fingers. But yeah, so this is an 8 gigabyte card and you can remove it and replace it with another. It's really hard. I can't. There's just some problems, some little things that Williams should solve because, but yeah, uh, I mean, this tablet is pretty cool. I, I'm still happy with it. This is just small things that should be solved. Certainly the new version or something. But yeah, let's continue. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, um, why using a SD card? This is a question that, I, that a lot of people ask me. First things first, uh, let's think about it. Uh, you are working with your tablet at home and you look at the wall and you see oh i'm late and you just put everything all your files there you that you were working on on your pen uh, on your tablet on the sd drive uh, sd storage whatever you want to call it and you take the tablet with you and you go work okay you only take the tablet with you only the tablet and maybe the pen you only take this and you go work and also the USB cable, but you take these three three things and you go work, okay? You do not need to take a USB drive or... Uh, because let's think, sometimes people forget things, right? This, you will never forget this thing, because this thing is your main thing. You need to work with it, so you, you will never forget it. But let's think you are late to work and you have all your things... Uh, on your table and you see oh I'm late you put everything together really quick and you forget your pen with this thing you will never forget your pen because the pen is inside okay so the the SD card is inside and you will never forget your work that's pretty cool pretty cool feature uh, I'm pretty happy about that so Huyun really good um, I thought why SD card in the tablet and then I thought better and I think yeah. Uh, the position of the USB port on the tablet uh, wasn't very well thought. Um, why? Because by placing uh, that port at the middle when I use the express keys <laughs> my hands uh, are over the wire and most most of the time and they try to solve the problem creating a cable like this you see and the cable goes like this when you are work working I mean if you are this is the, the table right this is the table the table and the cable goes like goes like this okay but in any case my hands is all the time over the wire and this is really annoying and I, I don't like it, that doesn't feel right, okay? Um, but it's not a big deal um, but it is uncomfortable, okay? So we're thinking another thing, maybe it's, I don't know, here I don't know, and I don't know, had some lads here or something because it would look better. I I know that's that the older version of the Helium tablet, uh, the, the the logo turned off, uh, turned on uh, once the tablet was connected. Why why did you guys remove that? Because that looks cool. I think. But yeah, another thing is. Um, Yeah, a more sensible place where the wires should be at the top, left, or right, okay? As I said, maybe here, because no one will work through here, you know? So, on the top, left, or right. Just think in one place and put the wires in there. 
and that will help a lot, believe me, because that's really annoying when trying to work and then your hand is all the time over the wire. That is really that is really uncomfortable. Another thing, let's go to the stylus right now. The stylus is well built, feels light but not too light. It does feel slightly hollow, I mean, and there is a slight texture on the sides to make sure it does not slip. That's true, this is the, the little, um, little texture that comes with the stylus. You can, you can watch the pictures here, okay? So, as you can see this little texture here on the, on the, on the nib, this helps a lot and it doesn't slip all the time. Uh, and there are two shortcut buttons, these two buttons right here, uh, that you can customize to keyboard presses or mouse clicks or other functions, I don't know, whatever, something that you guys want to do with these buttons. Some people would like right click, left click, middle click, I don't know, whatever. And, but you can also add some keyboard shortcuts like A, B, C, I don't know. Uh, it depends in which program do you work. I mostly work with Photoshop, Maya, Mudbox, Blender. Blender not, not so often, often but uh, I really work with Photoshop, Maya. That, that's pretty much my all my all the programs that I use all the time. So you may want to add some shortcuts like I'm talking now about Maya program Extrude. Uh, because if you all if you are using all the time extrude, then you you would like to have the extrude button somewhere here. I don't know something that you guys that this is customizable. Okay, so you guys can customize this for yourself. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So you can customize it the way you want, the way you want to work with, and that's pretty cool. I really like this thing. Another thing. Uh, that I'm really impressed, but I, I also think this is, it depends, it can be a downside and also a pro side, but let's think about it. There is no eraser at the back of, this, of the stylus, because there is a charging port, okay? Uh, this is a wireless stylus and it's battery powered, that means you need to charge it. The charging time is stated to be two hours for a, for a three months usage period, uh, and you can use the stylus while it's charging. That's also a pretty cool feature. Um, but I found I found I, I found that uh, you can charge it for a few minutes to get hours of use. That's also pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure of the dura durability of the stylus, but a replacement stylus is cheap. So. I don't know if you drop your styles and it doesn't work anymore. Uh, you can get one a new one uh, for a really cheap price. I don't know how much how, how much it costs right now. I can watch it. Yeah, I have my tablet somewhere here. Let me see. Okay, so a pen, uh, a stylus like this, a pen, whatever, uh, costs twenty dollars. Pretty cheap. Um, and you can replace it really quick. Some, some that is not so, it's not that difficult to get. Twenty dollars, I think it's free. It's one thing that I want to talk about uh, before I forget. Uh, the stylus. Um, you are not able to, to see the battery life of this. I mean, let's see, you are working and you would like to see uh, how much battery do you have on, the, on your pen. Because I'm always when I'm working, I think, have I enough battery? Because it's always simpler when you are working without the, ca the cable right here, you know? So I'm I think that they should add something on the driver window. Once again, you can see the driver window right here. They, you guys, from who you now, I'm talking to you guys. You should add uh, like a status bar of the battery. So, so that you, when you 
plug in the cable of the pen or something, we should be able to see how much battery we still have on the pen. Because that's really helpful and helps a lot because I will, I will not charge this until it's completely, uh, completely off. So I would like to, to know how much battery do I have. That's also a good thing to know. But let's talk now about the pen, uh, the stylus holder. The stylus holder allows you to place the stylus in a reasonable position, like this. Uh, personally, I prefer to put the stylus in upright, like this. Um, uh, in an upright position, like, uh, like we normally do with Wacom. Uh, stylus. One thing, Huyan, if you guys uh, can do it, please change the way we put the pen on the holder because upright is the best posi position ever. Let's think you have your things here, and I don't know. I mean, for me, I already dropped the pen one time because the pen was laying down like this. This is, in my, in my opinion, the worst position ever for a pen. So please try to, I don't know, create a holder when you can put the pen upright uh, in an upright position that will that will be really helpful. Uh, once again, I'm going to be talking to you again about the nibs, extra four nibs. And a huge, huge problem is I can't get this pin remover out of this stand. So you guys should I can't, this is really hard. I can't remove this thing, it's not possible. I can. I tried everything, but I can't pull it out. It's really hard to put, to remove this nib remover from this stand. Okay, so fix this. Okay. Um, uh, now, talking again about the drivers, this is the driver window. Uh, the driver screen, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have no problem installing the drivers, thought, but unfortunately, drivers for this Huion 1060 Plus can be a bit iffy um, at times. Um, and in this driver window, we get a, uh, a status, and you can see if your device is disconnected or not. Um, then at the top, we have the Huion logo. Um, you can set the, the stylus uh, physical buttons right there for right mouse click, uh, left uh, mouse click, wherever you want to, to put. You can change the pressure, the pressure sen sensitivity. By the way, the pressure sensitivity by this tablet is 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity. Uh, then you have the screen settings, the advanced settings, and under advanced settings, you can change. You can test the pen, the pen pressure. Uh, there you can see if you if the pen is working properly. Like I don't know, I can show you a test right now. As you can see, this is a pen pressure test. Um, and then you get some advanced settings where you can uh, change all your express keys as, as I already showed you uh, before. But once again. Here is the picture again. This is the address and settings where you can change all the express keys. Now let's talk about performance. Okay, um, the default level of sensitivity works very well for me. Uh, it's not different from any Wacom tablets I've used. You can get the tapered strokes at the start, thick strokes, and tapered ends easily. The sound is able to detect the slightest of contact on the surface. It supports. 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity, but not tilt. Okay, uh, these are some hatching lines drawn very quickly with the stylus. You can see some things that I did while testing this. Uh, a close up on those hatching lines shows that uh, they are smooth, not jitter at all. Uh, and the stroke also comes come out without any lag. So while drawing, you will never get any lag. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, makes drawing uh, much more smoother. 
and I like that, I enjoyed working with this tablet. Um, I'm really happy about that. Um, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be um, uh, today, no, tomorrow. I'm gonna be traveling to Portugal. I'm gonna take it with me, this tablet, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be drawing with it. Uh, it should be fun because I've been working with this. Uh, for three people and it is really cool i really enjoyed working with this tablet uh pretty clean um and i really enjoyed it we made uh, an excellent work with this thing uh i mean 80 dollars it's awesome i really recommend you guys to get one if you guys want to get one of course um if you want to get one of these you can check the links down in the description there you can find an amazon link and an uh, official Fuyon website um, and you can get one of these tablets for only $80 or even 80 years or if you want to get one of these tablets for free you can participate on the Fuyon competition uh, back to school competition they are now making a new uh, competition the deadline is on uh, let me see let me check it out The 5th of July, there is the deadline. So, if you want to get one of these tablets for free, like a Huion 1060 Plus for free, um, let me see what is it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, this is a giveaway. So, the lucky draw gets a Huion 1060 Plus, the new, the new Huion 1060 Plus, and the winner of this competition gets a Giano WH149. Okay, so. If you guys want to participate on this competition, check the link also down in the description. This is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Once again, I want to thank Huion for this huge opportunity. Um, and who knows what else comes comes after this. Maybe another tablet. Uh, I don't know, something else. Um, hope you guys enjoyed once again. Please. Uh, make sure uh, if you have some questions make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below so that I can answer answer everything and yeah make sure you check my Facebook and Twitter official pages there you can also ask me for questions or other stuff that you guys want to know uh, one thing that I would like to know is do you guys want some tutorials like uh, tutorials on drawing, tutorials on Maya, whatever you guys want to uh, let me know I will appreciate getting some feedback from you and make sure you share, the, you share the video with your friends and family. Um, if you enjoyed, once again, leave a like and I'll see you next time.